<laughs> Look at all this hair! Look at all this hair! I feel like doing something big. Something big and awesome. Once you do a big and cool thing, like put on a play, or make a movie, or make a CD, you just want to keep doing that. But Mark, I just started watching your videos online. I know nothing of these things that you have done before. Well then you must have skipped reading The Story of Mark, as apparently written by Edgar Allan Poe. At seven, influenced by Taylor Hansen and the guilt tripping of his loving mother, Mark started taking piano lessons, which he would continue to do for ten years and eventually take piano arrangements of Final Fantasy songs to band and choir competition in high school, receive perfect scores most of the time, and help the Ottawa Band and Choir maintain their title as the most winningest state band and choir ever in Illinois. Somewhere around this time is where he peed his pants in the middle of a t-ball game, which is surprisingly only about the third most embarrassing thing he's done during a sporting event. Signs that which from early on were clearly indicating that I was not meant to be an athlete. That he was not meant to be an athlete. Also at seven years old is when Mark saw Titanic for the first time and fell in love with film as a storytelling medium and theatrical experience and dedicated his life to, you guessed it, getting rich as soon as possible so he could sit around and watch movies all day. <laughs> soon the dreams he had of becoming an author were pushed away in favor of becoming a rock star. He started a band called West Side Five, which eventually changed his name to The Addicts. At 14, Mark started a concert series called The Rock Show, intended to support local music and raise money for charity. And it was also around this time that he went to Mexico to help build a house. He didn't really help that much but I was there for moral support. After playing all over the North Central Illinois high school talent show circuit, the Addicts eventually disbanded, but not until after releasing a six-track EP with just a baffling amount of bad post-audio effects. But by this time, Mark had realized, thanks to the character Dawson in Dawson's Creek, that instead of sitting around watching movies all day, he could actually make his living making movies, which would be at least six or seven times better. He started, as they all do, with a zombie short at 16, and continued making dramatic movies from there, and eventually went to film school and made a bunch of movies and some music videos, and went to the Illinois National Film Festival a couple times, and got some scholarships and some crap, and inexplicably graduating with honors, which I'm not really sure how that happened, because I didn't really pay attention to most of my classes that were not film-related. And I took really bizarre honors classes out of a desire to just be more cultured, like illustrated Victorian poetry and advanced Russian history. During this time, Mark also co-founded a non-for-profit group, which was born out of a comedy group that he also co-founded and they organized arts and recreation activities for teenagers, like talent shows, and battle of the bands, and dodgeball tournaments, and put on a play, and made like 60 YouTube videos, including a really stupid music video that went like locally viral and then ended up playing in Chicago movie theaters. But we put on a play! That's crazy. Around this time, Mark also started writing other crap, like five feature-length films, and two full-length pilots, and an entire five-episode miniseries, because why not? He also began to indulge in other passions, like bad poetry writing, bad songwriting, finger painting, photography, and constantly complaining about how hard it is to be an adult on Facebook and Twitter. And then he packed all his stuff inside his car and said goodbye to his film friends and his college friends and his high school friends and his comedy friends, and drove across the country to Los Angeles. And that's where I am, and that's where the vlog picks up, and now you understand all of it. And I've just been out here writing, but not doing a great job of it, and working, but not finding a real job, and bumping into celebrities, and having a lot of cool experiences, but not being entirely successful yet. So it's time to do something big and cool and awesome again, and I'm still figuring out what that's going to be. And there's a few projects in the works, and who knows which of those is going to pan out. I'm hopefully starting a new podcast with some of those old comedy friends soon, so that'll be in your face, or in your ears, I guess. Got some ideas for web series kicking around, and I'm slowly writing a novel, because Nano Remo, and, you know, but I'm not going to finish on time. I directed music videos. I directed a new music video last month, and I'm doing another one on Sunday, so that's something, getting paid to do what I actually want to do, so I guess I'm winning. That's all I've got for now. Click up here to watch last week's episode, and click down here to watch that new music video. I'll see you guys next week. Yogalabis.